Have you fully evaluated where you're gonna move? Now, I want you to follow along with me here. You'll understand what I'm talking about. A lot of times what happens is that people may find themselves in a situation where they choose to move and then there's some people who have to move and those are two different quarters, quarters, situations. Let me kind of break them down accordingly. Choose to move. When I'm saying a choose to move, that's a situation where you have made the decision that you are not desirous of staying in your location for whatever reason. And you have legitimate reasons. You don't have to move. You're choosing to. And in that particular instance, you may be deciding, oh, I want to relocate to a colder area because I like that the way the area feels. I want to relocate to a warmer state. I want to relocate to an area that's close to the coast. I want to relocate to an area whose politics I'm in, are more in line with mine. And I can respect you 100% in the world for that. However, if there are things that are going on with you with regards to your circumstances, whether it be a legal case or whatever the case may be, Ask yourself, other than the thing that is convenient for you in terms of why you're going there, does everything else provide you a benefit as well? Same thing with the, with the have to go. The have to go situation is where you're in a situation where you have no choice but to relocate. Your decision to relocate may be not up to you, but where you go, may, even though you may say it doesn't, it may not be up to you as well, maybe your options are fairly limited and you only have a couple of places to go. If you know that you are definitively only going to go to specific places, you still have an added responsibility of making a determination how moving to that place is going to impact you. I say this because a lot of times what happens is when people are looking to relocate, they're looking at the bigger picture in the sense of maybe they're going to a particular place because they have a greater support network down there. Maybe they're going someplace because the weather or the culture or the environment is more conducive for them. Those are what I call the big picture things. The drill downs are the one that gives you problems. The drill downs are the little things that may impact you, whether it be, you know, you've got a legal case in a state or a, or a federal court system that's still pending that kind of needs you to be in the area. You may be utilizing various services and different things and so forth like that. And what ends up happening is you're so busy focused on the bigger picture of how moving is going to benefit you that you don't look at the little things. And then when you go down to where your new place is, you've disrupted your little things. So now those little things are becoming bigger headaches because now you're having to go back and address all these particular type of issues that you're dealing with regards to this. It is important for you to recognize this that you have to look at yourself as your own private corporation. You are the corporation of you. And think of it like this. Anytime a corporation moves, whether you've been a business owner or not, just know this. They are hyper-conscious of all of the moving pieces that may affect that their move, whether it be for their benefit or to their detriment. So when you're looking at moving, you gotta look at what are the pros of me leaving and what are the cons of me leaving? What are the pros of me being there and what are the cons of me leaving, of being there? Because let me tell you something, if you realize that going to this new location, the number of cons greatly outweighs the number of pros, you may find, you may work a little harder to try to find other ways of staying in the area. I hate to say that because I know there are some people who say, listen, sometimes you gotta go, you just gotta go, you gotta go. Respect, I understand where you're coming from. What I'm saying is this, when you are in the process of deciding that you have to move, you have to say to yourself, the bigger things are great, but what are the little things that I rely upon that are tied to my current location that I need to know if, they, if those are available in the new location and if disrupting my current situation, will it be devastating to me as I go to the new one? Evaluating, whether you, evaluating where you should move should be a huge part of your calculation. So this way, you're not traumatized even more so from the move than just merely moving.